Well, Happy New Year, everyone, from the Gaming Preacher. Happy New Year from me to you, and I hope you guys are having a good start to the year 2013. I uh, first want to say appreciate all you guys um, keeping up with my channel. Uh, thanks a lot for all the new subs I've had, even though I haven't been putting out many videos lately. Apologize for that. I've just had too many things to do. I've had too much things that just had to take care of. And I'm just honest with you, if, if you know, if I don't have the heart, if I don't feel like I have the time, I, I'm not going to sit down and make a video just you know to throw something out there on YouTube. So I appreciate you guys hanging out. I appreciate all, especially all the messages. I appreciate the emails that I've gotten from some of you guys just checking up with me, making sure that I haven't just fallen off the uh, edge of the earth if you look at the the news lately technology news maybe you have read something that i've read about the upcoming ps4 and also the new xbox that supposedly is coming out this year have you been keeping up with this anti-use game technology uh, i've read where the ps4 the blu-ray that's going to be in that device is actually going to have some anti-use game technology in it you know what is that going to mean to you and not only that, but, you know, particularly for me and for most of you probably, uh, the, the supposed Xbox 720 or the Durango, whatever name you want to call it, whatever they end up naming it, that is rumored to be coming out uh, this year is also supposed to have the anti-use game tech in it as well. Now, of course, now that's just a rumor. We haven't heard anything official. At least I haven't seen that. But if you do a quick Google search for anti-used uh, game, uh, and then just type in like console, uh, you'll see uh, numerous articles, sort of rumor blogs about uh, this type of thing coming on, coming into the gaming community. So what is this going to do, you know, to those of us who, who, who buy used games? Uh, what is this going to do for GameStop? I mean, they've built a whole business model. Uh, part of their company is dedicated to used gaming. Uh, you know, what's that going to do to them? And I know there's probably a lot of you that say, you know, I couldn't give a crap what happens to GameStop because you don't like them anyways. But nonetheless, you know, they do provide a, a service in the used game market. Now, for me, I've got a few used games. I don't have a ton of them. Uh, oddly enough, the, the most of the used games I have are actually games that I used to own and then I sold and then months or, you know, years later went back and picked them up again particularly the Call of Duty. I went back and picked up uh, Call of Duty 2 and 3, you know, and stuff like that, where I had gotten rid of them long ago and then thought, hey, you know, I want to go back and play those games again. So I go buy, you know, a $15 used copy. Well, you know, what's going to happen if this technology comes around? We're not going to be able to do that anymore. Uh, not if you've got just the newest console. Now, you may want to hang on to one of your older ones, you know, to be able to do something like that. Uh, but I think that's still going to cause you probably multiplayer issues. But what, what impact is this going to have, you know, on just the average gamer? You know, do you guys buy a lot of used games? Um, I know I will buy one every now and then if it's a game maybe I'm not completely thrilled about. Maybe I don't know if I'm going to like it or not. And I might not get around to playing it for maybe, you know, six months or maybe even a year. And I might pick up a used copy just to try it out. But for those of you maybe because you don't want to shell out 60 bucks for a game, you know, you're willing to wait a little while to pick up and, you know, get a little game, get a game a little bit cheaper. You know, what is this going to do for your for your playing style? Is this going to uh, limit some of the games you play? Is this going to limit the amount you play? You know, what is this going to do to the gaming community in general? Uh, are we going to see a, uh, you know, a boycott of the new console? Are people going to say, well, hey, you know, either on principle or because I play a lot of used games, I, you know, I'm not even going to upgrade the console. I'm just going to keep using what I have. Well, you know, is, is that a viable alternative? Or are they going to sort of force us at some point to upgrade because of the games that are coming out? I have no clue. It's technology. You can't always predict what's going to happen. But I'd like to know, you guys, uh, what are your thoughts on that? You know, let me know below. Send me a comment on whether this is going to impact you or not, whether you couldn't care less. Uh, is it not going to impact you at all? Or if this is really going to put a crunch, you know, in your, in your gaming hobby uh, or your gaming life, if you want to call it that. I'm interested to see how this pans out, see if these are just rumors or see if this is really going to happen. But getting I'm back to this gameplay here, you'll notice I'm using a Chicom, and you may have noticed I've got uh, no attachments on there. Well, I've also got no perks either. Uh, this is either uh, the last map or close to the last match that I play before I get gold on this stupid little gun. Uh, I've, I've kept with it, I've stuck with it, I've struggled with it uh, to get through all the camo challenges on it. So I'm doing the two now uh, at one time that you have to get with no perks and no attachments. Uh, if you're going to be trying to go for the gold camo, I recommend you do the no perk, no attachment one at the same time because your kills count for both. And it'll save you some time, save you a little bit of a headache. 
but uh, uh, this is one of the guns I chose to do. Uh, it can be a challenging gun to use. It's a it's a it's a burst fire uh, weapon. Uh, it's not really that powerful. Uh, so if you want a challenge, you know, pick up the Chicom and try. You know, throw down your MP7 or some of your other guns and pick up this little thing here and and uh, you know see what kind of challenge it may be for you. Take take your perch, take your chat attachments off, and, and you'll see that it's even more challenging then as well. So I'm glad to finally uh, be getting gold on this gun. Uh, I think uh, probably the next video I put up will have the gold uh, camo on it, so you'll see that. Uh, but I've decided to do weapon prestiges instead of class prestiges, uh, at least for the for the near future. Uh, just you know, do something different. So we come out pretty good on this game, 7570. I think I go 20, yeah, 25 and five. Uh, so guys, uh, use game technology. What do you think? Good, bad? don't care. Let me know. I hope you have a great week. Have a good start to your year and uh, God bless and keep the faith. Bye. Nice work. RTB for debrief.